So you want to double edit faster and overall just become a way faster editor in Fortnite. Well don't worry because this video is exactly that and you will end up just as fast as this editor. This professional editor actually is using every single one of the tips included in today's video. And that is not a joke. You may want to sit down and dedicate 10 minutes of your time because by the time of you leaving this video, you will know 7 new tips that are unknown and secret to the pro community. Only they share them around, but don't worry, I got you and I exposed all of these secret tips that they use to be the fastest editors. But hey, what's up? My name is Woods and welcome back to a new tip video. Here on my channel, we actually do it a bit differently as we are actually a family that each supports each other. So what what that means is you guys get to actually request your own tip videos personalized to you and all you have to do is subscribe with notifications on and then be early on a video and comment the video you want and I'll make it. Shout out to this guy who was super early last video and actually requested this exact video. Also guys let's aim for 1000 likes on this video. I know we can do it so everyone go down there and drop a like. Let's hop into some settings and then tips afterwards. Alright so obviously we need the best environment for actually practicing the build so the first ever tip I have is just to have one of these islands where it's just completely plain so you get the less input delay and the best amount of FPS possible. This is extremely useful for you console players that can't really get FPS any other way. This will definitely help you get even faster at editing. Obviously though, these tips can't be replicated in an actual match because you won't have a plain island. So we're actually going to go ahead and use some insane settings that will help you in a public match itself. So you want to move into your settings and actually in this wheel here, you want to make sure that the building tab that you actually have confirm edit on release. And what this will do is when you go ahead and play something to edit, as soon as you select it, it will edit it for you and you won't have to confirm basically double doubling your speed straight away, making a double edit way faster. So make sure you have turbo building on. If you don't, then I don't know what the hell you're doing. Turn that bad boy on. All right, but these are cool and all, but let's go ahead and have a look at some binds that can actually help you double edit faster. All right, so moving over to the binds right now. So you're actually gonna have two different sets of binds. So if you actually have a controller and you don't have scuff or anything like that, and you actually play claw, then what I actually recommend for you guys to do is actually see here, left stick. You actually wanna make sure that your left stick is actually your edit button. So that basically when you are actually moving around, you won't actually have to take your finger off the stick to go and click a different button therefore hindering your ability to edit fast however if you do this then obviously you're gonna actually have to turn on sprint by default so that you won't have to actually use that button for sprinting which honestly you don't ever need to not be sprinting in fortnite so i definitely recommend turning that bad boy on yeah this next tip here is actually really special and a lot of you may know not about this and that is actually you want to have a single edit bind somewhere on your controller and then separately just bind some random button to switch mode slash edit now as you can see here having switch mode slash edit for some reason that lowers your input delay when it comes to editing on a controller and it just makes it so much faster and it makes sure that your double edits are way quicker. This next one is for you controller players on PC and what you actually want to do is go over to here and you actually want to change the controller platform over to generic and for some reason on PC it just gives you way less input lag and you can double edit everything like that way faster and it's so much better. Okay so now how to actually practice your double edit speed and actually improve it is by going over to the creative and going over to the devices tab. Then you want to scroll down until you see this thing right here. This is called the movement modulator. You want to hit A to equip that bad boy, and then all you got to do is place two floors just like so. Go ahead and place down these two traps like this, and what this will do is speed our movement up. And now you're going to go into one of them and make sure the speed is on fast, and then set the duration to infinite and hit accept, OK. And then go over to the other one and change that to normal and put down infinite as well, just so that we can reset back to normal speed after practicing on the high speed. Now the reason why we do this is if you ever heard of the actual phrase, train harder and play harder, well what this means is with the speed, if we actually are editing way quicker than we would usually, then when it comes to actually editing a normal speed, it'll be way quicker and feel so much easier when we just edit a normal speed. So you want to go ahead and practice your speed in the fast motion and then when it comes to if you move over here to the actual pad change your speed back to normal then it will feel so slow and it'll be so much easier to actually edit everything way quicker trust me you want to try this out See, though not everyone can edit in two times speed so that's how i'm actually going to set you guys up with this next tip so what you want to do is actually when it comes to editing this is a really important tip to slow yourself down sometimes and actually run up the ramp diagonally and what this will do is actually give you more time to actually edit the thing if you think about it logically if you run straight up you'll hit it as soon as possible whereas if you go diagonally it's the longest way across the ramp giving you the longest time so what you want to do is actually go ahead and run across the ramp and it'll give you the longer time to edit it and then place it you know what i'm saying so you just gotta go left to right just like this and it'll be way smoother and slower so it gives you more time to practice but i'd only recommend this if you're only just getting started if you feel like double editing isn't quite your standard just yet then you can always just go ahead and place one floor just like this and go every two ramps instead so it gives you a bit more of that breathing room and then when you feel like to spice up a bit more 
more. You can start doing once every every ramp. You can go ahead and do it. From there, do the same things with pyramids. It's literally no different. And then when you feel a bit more saucy, you can go ahead and start doing it every single time instead. Then, if you've got both of these under control, you can go ahead and actually start to do both of them at the same time. Or go ahead and do both of them once every two ramps, giving you a bit more of that breathing time in between to go ahead and reset. Now this next tip is absolutely massive and I definitely recommend trying this out if you are struggling and if you ever run into things like this where you go ahead and actually place a wall by accident afterwards or you actually go ahead and let's say for example like edit the wrong tile or something the best thing to do is actually is because you are editing with your map out it still actually has the chance to build something after you actually go ahead and edit. So what you want to do is actually place everything down so for example place your pyramid and floors down and then switch back to your pickaxe and then you can't build anything and you can only edit it, so it should mean that you could only edit and it should be extra speedy and you can go ahead and get through them all Unfortunately though, this will be an extra motion you have to add in because obviously you have to switch back to your pickaxe each time But honestly, you can get used to it after a while and it's really easy Now if you're looking to actually just speed up the whole thing entirely and actually just work on how you can actually improve the speed of your builds Now you've got the hour the actual building mechanic Now the best way to actually improve the speed is by doing this little trick here So you want to place a pyramid and a floor just like so and then you want to go ahead and go up edit these two just like that and then close Close these two back up and then repeat the process by editing these two closing it back up editing these two closing it back up editing these two closing it back up and you get the idea that you just want to keep going around in circles and it'll actually help you speed up resetting and editing at the same time doing double edits and double resets at the same time and you'll get really speedy we're gonna actually come back down to our two times speed pad right here and now what this will mean is we can actually go ahead and edit in two times speed and do this way quicker if you found it was getting really easy beforehand now obviously what happens then is when we go back to our one time speed we'll be so quick However, I would just like to let you guys know if you are struggling, then just add in two stairs just like so. And yeah, by doing this, obviously, we're double editing and we're also double resetting at the same time. So it actually builds up our speed, not only for double editing, but also double resetting. You can actually go ahead and start to pull off more complicated edits. So you can actually do a bunch of different things. And honestly, it would just speed up your whole editing sense really much better. Next up is super important. You guys definitely need to make sure you're doing this because not everyone does it. And it's just a simple edit just like this when you actually are only having to barely move between the two tiles. Now, what this will do is speed up your edit drastically because instead if you're on like doing some crazy high sense stuff you'll be editing like this and you'll be all over the place and you'll be running into builds not having a clue in the world where you actually are so instead, you should be doing some really smooth actions. And now what this will do is make sure that your camera is barely even moving. And it will make sure that your edits are way consistent. Because obviously, consistent edits are way more important at the end of the day. Because if you can't even land the edit itself, then there's no point in doing it. So rather than doing some crazy edit like that, you should be doing some nice smooth edit where your kind of your crosshair falls into the position where it wants to be. And here's a really great warm-up routine. So when you get on, just do this to actually start making your edits feel way quicker. And now how editing is works, you've got to realize this. You can't can't just spam your buttons download because it's not actually going to edit as you can see that it doesn't edit half the time there's actually a bit of a cap to how fast you can go so you've got to kind of work out where your sweet spot is and how fast you can actually edit and just by doing a single edit on like a pyramid just like this then what it's going to do is train you to find that sweet spot so that when it comes to an actual double edit you can obviously double edit way quicker using that sweet spot technique so we got to do as soon as you get on place a pyramid and a floor and just edit the pyramid as fast as you can to so start off slowly like this and then slowly start to get speedier and speedier until you can't actually edit and it starts to miss edits that's when you know you've hit the sweet spot so actually just go ahead and start slowly and then speed up speed up speed up and then now around here is my actual maximum edit i can only go this sort of speed without failing okay so now obviously we've got down the double editing binds but if you actually start want to move on to different things where you can actually perform edits in different scenarios and just speed up your crosshair placement and get way better at that and perfecting it then the next warm-up routine is you want to go ahead and place a stair place a floor and then get into the scissor ramp formation like so and then when you get here, what you got to do is throw up this little wall here. Then place a stair above your head. Edit the wall just like that. Place another stair. And just keep repeating this motion. And what will eventually happen is you'll just get way quicker at perfecting this wall edit just like so. And you'll basically improve your actual overall editing precision over time and you just keep doing this you can actually go ahead and walk it it doesn't really matter and then eventually you can obviously speed it up and you don't even need to jump to be honest with you it just messes you up if you jump so just stay down and just keep doing this and eventually your editing speed and placement will get way better trust
underestimate. Alrighty, guys, but that is the video. So if you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on the video. Remember, we are aiming for 1,000 likes. Also, do consider subscribing because if you are still watching, then that clearly means you have enjoyed the video and you are a true fan. So I do appreciate that a lot. So make sure you do subscribe with those notifications on as we're super close to 90,000 subscribers and I cannot wait to hit it, guys. But yeah, also make sure to go down to the uh, description and follow my Twitter. I'd appreciate that a lot if you are still watching. You're an absolute champ. So make sure to get us to 1,000 likes. Subscribe right now. Join the family and follow my Twitter. But other than that, check out another video, guys, and I'll see you on another one. Peace.